hello everybody welcome back to my channel um i wanted to talk today but i also wanted to style my loose hair because like it's not a whole lot but i don't know if y'all could see like just all this loose hair that i have it's always like in this area it's always right here um, I don't know if y'all could, and then I have some in the back, and then, like, I'm starting to get some frizz, so I feel like it would be cute to, like, style it. I have a spray bottle, and I'm just gonna use some oil. I'm not gonna use oil. I'm gonna use this just a little bit. I, th I don't think I've, I've used this once. I really like this gel. I feel like a lot of people don't like this gel, but I do. Um, I wanted to talk about how I'm done semi-freeforming my locks. I've made videos on this in the past. I've done like semi-freeform updates. Um, I did those videos last year. And I feel like the reason why I was semi-freeforming in the first place was because of my environment. I think I started semi-freeforming when I moved to Idaho. I didn't move there like permanently. I was just there for seasonal work. Um, I have videos on my Idaho experience too on my channel. See how that just curls up so nicely? I feel like that's super cute. And I feel like because of my environment, I was just like, okay, might as well freeform because I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this is a given, but there's not a lot of black people in Idaho, especially in the area that I was working in. It was like no black people. People, black people were coming up to me asking me to do their hair. Like even people that didn't have locks, like black people were like, oh, could you braid my hair? Could you do this? Could you do that? Like it wasn't a lot of people out there that could do my hair oh my god i feel like that's so cute i never do this like i never curl up my loose hair i kind of always like try to hide it but i feel like this is mad cute i don't know we're gonna go with it and there wasn't any hair salons there wasn't anybody that like I could just go to for like a nice retwist. I retwist my hair myself sometimes, but it's never it's never good. I feel like I do a lot of braid outs, but I don't really like to retwist my hair. I'm not that good at it to be honest. And another reason why I started semi free forming in Idaho was because it was very, very cold. And I washed my hair probably like once a month, but I did not want to retwist it because I didn't want my scalp to be exposed. I don't know like how some people are with that, but I have a thing where like, if I'm in a cold climate, I kind of just don't like my scalp exposed. Like I don't like how it feels. I feel like it makes my hair dry for some reason, so I don't like to retwist it when I'm in a cold climate. I like to grow my roots out. I guess like for protection, I don't know. I don't know if that like actually protects my hair. It might just be this thing that I do, I'm not sure. But I feel like when I was in Idaho, just because of my environment, just like where I was, I just started semi-free for me because it made the most sense. Oh, look at my little girl. I feel like it made the most sense. I'm doing all this just to put a bonnet on, but I feel like I'm gonna start doing this on a daily basis. Cause like, I don't know if this looks silly, but I don't care. So yeah, I'm done semi free forming. Um, I have a video that I recorded a month ago. I got my hair retwisted and i feel like i forgot how nice it is to just get your hair done like book an appointment 
you go somewhere, you sit down, you let somebody do your hair. I feel like as a woman, that's like really relaxing. It was therapeutic for me. I really like my hairstylist. Um, I feel like she did a great job. I think she did a great job. She was super nice. I like the salon too. Like they had snacks, they had a movie playing. They gave me water. She gave me fruit snacks and it was just like an experience. And I think she did a great job. So I'm definitely gonna go to her again. Now I feel like I'm still gonna get my hair retwisted once a month. I think I said that in one video like, I don't like to get my hair retwisted twice a month. I feel like that's just too much for me. And I just feel like I can afford to get my hair done once a month now. I have the time to get it done. And it's just like a nice thing to do for myself. I feel like I forgot that it's just nice to have somebody do something for you. I like, like I said, I like the salon. The other women that worked there were really nice. It's just nice to be in that environment sometimes because, I mean, I work with other women and that's fine, but it's nice to be around other women that I don't work with. I like treating myself. Oh my gosh. Might as well oil my hair. This has been a minute. Y'all know I'm bad with that too, but yeah and i like seeing the growth especially now that it's gotten this long i like seeing the growth i like getting it retwisted every so often i feel like that's like okay and i just like how my hair looks when i get it done and i also like how it looks now like i don't know how to describe this but i feel like the longer i go without washing my hair or retwisting it my hair gets bigger like my roots get thicker. This starts to just like stick out a little bit. Like it just seems fuller like this and I like how it looks, but then it's nice to like switch it up and get it retwisted. Maybe now that it's this length, I might like have her do a braid out. I feel like I can do a lot more with my hair now that it's, now that it's long. So I feel like I wanna start getting it done once a month, different styles. Not any updos, I don't like updos. I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten like a updo on my hair before, but maybe flexi rods next time or a braid out, a twist out. I feel like that would be super cute. Especially like after she retwists my hair, she does a twist out. I feel like that'll be really nice. So yeah, like I don't think I'm gonna send my free form, at least for right now, I feel like I have no reason to. And I also feel like the maintenance to keep up, I feel like having locks, there's more to it than I thought. I feel like there's definitely more to it than I thought. Like I can't just wake up and go. Like most days I can do that, but I do have to like make sure the overall health of my hair is good and I don't know as my hair gets longer I feel like okay well I need to oil it more um maybe I need to wash it more because it's definitely been it's been a minute I need to wash it this week I'll probably record that as well I might do a braid out this week on Thursday and then get my hair done um by my hairstylist at the end of the month and I like doing those updates I like doing those videos I like showing you guys my growth. I feel like it's been super fun. So yeah, just like a quick lock update for those who are wondering. I'm gonna be doing another Idaho video. I don't know why. I feel like I know why, but I've been getting a lot of comments on my old Idaho videos. And some of my Idaho videos did okay, like a couple hundred views, that's good for a channel my size, but a lot of people have been asking me questions still. So I might do like an updated or I guess like how I feel now that I left Idaho and it's been a couple months, the comparison between doing seasonal work and like just having a regular job and like a regular consistent place to live. I think I might do a comparison video on that soon because I've been getting a lot of questions a lot of comments people are like commenting like oh i'm 
about to apply do you have any tips or you know like what can i expect so if you guys want to know anything about seasonal work in general let me know leave a question in the comment section and i will talk to you guys in the next one